Waking up woke, what's it all about? Uh, it's going to be different for everybody, you know? Um, when you wake up, you... It's going to be different for everybody. Uh, however, yoga was a real, real boon to my waking up because I connected my heart. I taught. I connected my heart to the planet. And then that would lead me, and that's what woke up more in her promptings. Um, guides, I didn't know if I had guides anymore leading me astray, so I shut down on the guidance for a while. I actually didn't allow any guidance. I was like, no, guys, I don't need right now any guidance because I don't want the chance that this mis misguidance. I hadn't learned how to actually protect myself. So <clears throat> when I was a Native American shaman's apprentice, that's in my book, Slay Girls uh, and Daddy Jacks. Um, it was great. Okay, Indian Joe, I met him, um, and it's a good story, but let's get back to what we're talking about, which is uh, waking up, and how do you know if you're woke? <laughs> how do you know if you're woke? Was that, the, the discussion is open to the table. How do you know? Are people going to, like, argue over who's more awake? If you're awake, you don't argue over who's more awake. You just actually enjoy it because it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Some of my favorite YouTubers, um, they would be Jordan Sather if you're into the whole political thing. Um, James Gilead of uh, uh, Aseti, E-C-E-T-I, all capitals. Um, if you're interested in having a personal experience yourself and, and listening to his most interesting guests, which is how I found Aurora, you know, dancing, um, flying rainbow lasagna. It was about dancing. And I discovered dancing was how I stay in shape, just like playing music and dancing and just enjoying it. I, I have a background as a stripper, so I've got some dance moves, and they're really good um, to, to keep the, like the pelvis is actually really important to keep alive and awake and moving and sex was degraded and demonized on this planet for a reason it's because sex pro uh, when properly done um, is a very powerful tool for transformative healing mm -hmm. so girls even if you don't feel like it you take control. Take control. Get on top. Just like Prince used to sing. Cream, get on top. Usha Bume, you're so good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Something like that. Ah. <laughs> Prince. I, in my opinion, he was suicided. Um, they, they, they shot a heart attack gun at him. And the late uh, Max Spears, who was part of the MK Ultra, he mentioned that in one of his videos before he was, um, what do you call it, when they, took, they shut down his systems. And by the way, there's a thing about that. I'm not going to go into that either. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not a knower of MK Ultra. I'm not going to go into any of that. So I went to the transformational shift conference. So I met Tolik, T-O-L-E-K. He uh, was going to have uh, a Great Awakening conference. I went to his transformational shift conference, but I think now he's doing Great Awakening. And the etymology of awakening is quite, quite interesting. And I have it here. Um, first of all, this is the Shaki Cluster app on my phone. I took a picture of it as a screenshot, but that's what you're going to do when you get it on nemeta.org. You can get the PDF, and it will look like that, and then you'll be able to use this handheld app in your magic making for protection and direction. So that was the thing I, I, the shaman told me, was that the first thing you learn is protection, and the next thing you learn is direction. To get direction without protection is to get direction from any fool that's on the other side or from, you want to be very clear and so you demand that you have a heart space aligned with your higher self and you invite your higher self's 
in with your hand on your heart, and then you connect to the, the earth through your heart. And I'm not going to do it right now because <laughs> I just did it. Um, you get to feel this really beautiful energy back. And it's beautiful. And then you go up. I feel like I go up through all the horror line. Even I, ching, and then I go up to the sun and then go through the sun portal to the galactic core. Our, our source. And that's where our mother, um, the Gaia Sophia, came from. <sighs> so we're getting back to that. So that I can discover and, and every day become the person I was always meant to be. You know, get back come on board as attendant, get back to my blueprint, you know. So that's my goal, and that's what I discover, that when I more and more do that, I, I can see through lies, and I get inklings, and I'm very, very intuitive, and a really sort of piece of the puzzle way, which is why I tuned into um, Pluto, and Pluto and Saturn are going to be conjunct in um, the winter solstice of 2020. And it's also a big deal because that's huge because Pluto is the planet of transformation, is death and transformation. And it's opposing in conjunction, uh, I think that's what it is, but this is my take on it, Saturn. And Saturn is about rules and structure, and Saturn also is, can be very demonic. I'm Capricorn, so when I say it's Capricornian, I'm not saying I'm demonic, I'm saying that it's Capricornian in nature. In its into rules, structure, and authority. So we're going to be taking a look at that, nodding our heads to it, and then subsequently preparing because 2020 is a threshold to the next era, the next generational shift, which is huge. Um, <clears throat> when we go into um, Pluto, will leave Capricorn and go into Aquarius, which is going to be much easier on this, the energetics of, for social change. Now, the funny thing is that real change can only come through love, um, real and lasting change. Self-love first, um, real, real lasting change can only come through love. And social justice warriors have anything but that. They are angry and um, ineffectual in their methods. I'm not going to go into them. Uh, I, have a, I'm, I don't even think I'll ever do a video on them. But uh, I witnessed, okay, I lived in downtown Raleigh, but I don't live there anymore. And after Trump won, all right, the night of the election, this is great. I worked with two our authors. I rented an office space. And so I worked in the same building as they did. It was an old... 1917 law firm office, and mine was upstairs, and it was downstairs, and they each had their own room. And the, one of the women owned it. Well, they were both really big, huge Hillary fans. Well, I didn't like Hillary because of the things she did when Bill was in office and about Waco, Texas, and the lies they perpetrated about those poor people. So when you find out what happened at Waco, Texas, that's, you, that's another waking up when you really find out what happened and how they perpetuated it into they were wacko jobs. You know, what's wrong with you? You know, you, you, you just come from wacko or Waco. It was sort of like a, an insult. Well, the documentary I saw um, that was first-hand accounts of these people, men, that had to clean up um, and... They were lifting children's corpses that would burn to a crisp and fall apart in their hands because Killary, according to the source, ordered, she gave the executive order. In other words, Bill was in office. Well, she was wearing the pants because he was busy taking his pants down. Ha! So, <laughs> that was funny. You can quote me on that. When Bill was in office, Hillary was the one that wore the pants because he was busy taking his down. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so where are we at in time? Oh, we're at the half hour. I'm going to then wrap it up by telling you that you can 
may waste your time and go down rabbit holes and spend all this time spinning out and going crazy. Go to the New Earth History Channel. It's New Earth on YouTube. New Earth. Go to Ginny Thwaite, which is G-I-N-N-Y Thwaite, T-H-W-A-I-T-E. She's John Lamlash's partner, and as far as I know, and or consort, and she hangs out with him and lives with him, so that's pretty close to partnership, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, by the way, my thoughts on this whole gay divorce thing, jokes on gay people, um, not gay divorce thing, but that's where it leads. Marriage leads to divorce a lot of times. And so now um, the states are going to reap the benefit of child support and alimony, palimony. What do you call it, alimony? What's, what's politically correct when they're both dudes or when they're both chicks? <laughs> now, now you too, unless you've had a prenup you too will suffer the consequences and the drudgery of going through a divorce for a full year in North Carolina being tormented. <laughs> oh, it's hell going through divorce in North Carolina. Hell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there. Um, but, you know, it's open for discussion. Uh, oh, the etymology. Woo! Okay. Well, remember I told you, if, well, if you did, if you listened to my other videos, um... Wicca, Wiccan, um, that word, which came from wit, which is German to know. So the etymology of woke, which is the past presence, past tense of awake, and the current active verb is awakening. I'm woke, but I'm still awakening to the full glory of my being. Because it's never too late to be what I might have been. <laughs> never too late. Um, thank you, George Eliot, for that inspirational quote. But yeah, here are my photos. The latest ones I took today. Which are screenshots. Okay, screenshots. Is this... The root word is weg, which is to be strong, to be lively. So, woke people are strong and lively. And awakening people are too. Uh, it's when you cease to sleep. It's from the Old English. Oh, this is such a great one. Okay. Can I get this to you? And um, I'll, t I'll, I'll get the source. Oops. Um, let's see if I can zoom in on this for you and stay still. enough for you. Oops, no, 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 no. Let's try that. Okay. Well, um, I won't torture you with that, but basically it's aroused from sleep. Middle English is, oops, <laughs> did, you, did you like that close-up of my face? <laughs> Sorry about that. Ooh. So, okay, um, Aroused from sleep, generally speaking, uh, Middle English, awaken, but I love that German one. Awake, verb, to become awake, a Middle English merger of Old English waken, W-A-C-A-N, uh, proto -ger yeah, it's basically, the root is weg, to be strong, be lively. Yeah, be strong, be lively. That's what awoke is, not awoke, but woke. Be strong, be lively. Design your life because now you can, because now you're armed with information. If you have been waking up. So share below and continue to grow.